Let's um, take a look at another example. This time is, an, is not a uniform distribution. We will see what happens when we have a Laplacian distribution. So we have the formula for a Laplacian uh, PDF. So this probability function is given by this equation here. So it's an exponential and the power of minus 0 0.5 times modulo absolute value of x. So we will do the same thing. We will random initialize uh, values of y1 and y2. So it will be 0 0.3 and 0 0.8. And we will calculate the nearest neighbor rule. So we have the b1 is like the average between these two values and we have this. But now our condition expectation we have to take into consideration the PDF of the Laplacian distribution. So before it was one, very simple to calculate, but now we have to include this formula here inside here. And then when we compute uh, the numerator for this, we have this uh, part here. So when we use uh, NumPy to compute this, we have this value of 0. 1, 2, 6. For the denumerator, so this part here, we will have this here. We're replacing this by this function here. And when we do this, we have 0 0.48. And then the, the numerator divided by the denominator, we have this result here for y1. For y2, we need to do the same procedure but then, so we have here the uh, numerator and the denominator. Then we are printing the numerator divided by denominator and we have 0 0.76. So this was y1, here's y2. And then we go back uh, to step two until convergence. So as we did before, here is our functions to uh, implement this algorithm. Here is the neighbor, uh, nearest neighbor rule. And here now we have this, this function here, but we are replacing the, this PDF equals to the Laplacian, the PDF of a Laplacian distribution with those values here. So this is what we are doing here. Then the same thing, we're setting this epsilon, which is our uh, the change, yeah, when it stops to change our value according to this epsilon, we say, okay, it's good enough. So we have now the iteration loop and we have that after 28 iterations, there are no significant change. So the changes are smaller than the epsilon. And we have that Y1 converts to 0 0.23 and Y2 converts to 0. 72 and the b is equal to 0 0.47 so we've seen in action uh, how this algorithm works for just um, a simple example where we had a three um, three boundaries so we had a b0 b1 and b2 for a uniform distribution for a laplace distribution and um, that's it for the Lloyd-Max quantizer.